Good morning! So this morning I'm making a typical Japanese breakfast and it's actually quite easy to make. The rice is already on and I'm gonna make some fish and then I'm gonna make some natto, some cucumber salad and then I'm going to make some miso. As you see um, there's only one piece of fish and that's because my case uh, is out of time. So uh, I'm only making breakfast for one and um, it also means that I, I, uh, I have to shoot this video myself, so it's going to be a little bit challenging. So let's see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, make the miso. And it's actually going to be for two servings. So um, I cut up some daikon and some uh, silk tofu and these are some dried uh, seaweed. And then I got the miso. And then I got some hondashi, which is Japanese fish stock. And uh, you can buy these both at an Asian market. So first I have like, like half a liter uh, of water. And then I'm gonna put it on. Now I have to add the daikon. And now I also have to add some of the hondashi. Something like this should be enough. So in the meantime I can start preparing fish. It's actually also very easy because this is our stove. And look at this. We've got a little grill here. So I'll put the fish on. And then I'll have some butter. I like to make it nice and buttery and then I'll just have to put some salt and pepper on there okay here we go so I'll just close this now the girl is on as you can see it says 9 so I'll put it like in the mid heat and then I'll put it on like 7 minutes and then after 7 minutes it will uh, turn off by itself and then it should be done so now I'm going to make the natto and natto are uh, fermented soybeans I really like them but they're not that popular but they're very easy to make. There we go, this is sort of what it looks like. And you get these little packages. So you put them in. And then you'll add some of the spring onions, bonito flakes, and lastly some nori. And then you have these little packages. So this is some sort of like a, a soy thingy. So you add that as well. And then this is some, uh, some mustard. It's actually very nice. Go. Yeah, and I normally like to add a little bit of more soy sauce myself. And now I'm just going to mix it. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so in the meantime I'm going to chop up the cucumber. And as you see they're actually quite, quite thin. Which is really nice because they're nice and crispy. So the daikon should be nice and soft by now. So now we have to... Uh, add the, uh, the miso and I'll show you how to do that. It's actually very easy. Just grab like a spoon of the, uh, the miso base, something like this. And then I know you use this thing. And you just sort of smear it in like this. Normally I'll taste it, just taste whether it's good or not. I need more miso. Oh no, that's great. Okay. So I'm now going to add the tofu, and then the seaweed, there we go. So I'm not sure if you heard, but the, uh, the oven was beeping, so it should be done. So let's see actually how it is. Oh, oh yeah, that looks really nice. Okay, here it is, simple Japanese breakfast. We normally do this like every other day. And the other day we have like fruit smoothies, or in the weekend we have pancakes. So. Natto on the rice. And then I know it put some soy sauce on the fish. We got some sesame dressing for the cucumber. Okay, itadakimasu!